when the Justice Democrats started, um, I remember I was there. Uh, we were told that um, we would be lucky to have one just Democrat in Congress uh, after the next set of elections in 2018. So we now have three. Uh, there's, we started with 52 candidates, two of them were incumbents. I am super happy to announce today the third incumbent uh, sitting member of Congress that has joined the Justice Democrats. That's Pramila Jayapal. She's from the state of Washington. She is one of the most progressive uh, Congress people in the country. Uh, it is a great honor to have her as part of the Justice Democrats. So why were people skeptical and why are people joining now? I'm gonna give you some quotes from her and, and some of her supporters in a second. Um, well, people were skeptical because of two things. They said, one, the platform is so progressive. Go to JustDemocrats.com, check out the platform. They're like, can people really sign on to that? But in the case of somebody like Congresswoman Jayapal, she's that progressive, that's not an issue at all. Um, but a corollary to that was, look, a lot of these folks are gonna primary people that are incumbent Democrats. But, and so they thought not a lot of Congress people will have the courage to say, yeah, it's okay to primary incumbents. But they were wrong. Ro Khanna, Raul Grijalva, and now Congresswoman Jayapal all have the courage to do that. To say it's important to fight not just for Democrats, but for progressives. And not just for po political reasons, but for policy. The second reason people were skeptical is because uh, we said that we would not allow anybody who would take corporate PAC money. And they thought, well, I mean, sitting members of Congress, they can't not take corporate PAC money. It turns out they can. So now as we get more and more just Democrats that are in uh, the House, and there are more and more candidates, guess what's happening? Go back to our old videos. It's exactly what I told you would happen. Now people are saying, well, I mean, come on, of course. I mean, I mean, no corporate PAC. Is it now even Gillibrand and Booker is doing it. Were they doing it before we started? I don't remember that. We were told it was impossible. So now there are a great number of people saying no corporate PAC money. Uh, and, and now we have three already uh, in the caucus. And there are a lot more on the way. Uh, already the primaries have started. There were some losses, of course, that's normal. And there was a lot of victories. Five out of seven uh, just Democrats won or got into the runoff in Texas primaries, five out of seven. One of them who lost turned around and recruited the candidate who beat him. And that was mighty Mary Wilson who won that race. She became a justice Democrat. And the unity continues. This is real unity around progressive priorities. I am super proud of that. You know what justice Democrat stands for? So yes, definitely economic justice and social justice. Yes, we believe that everybody should be treated equal. Not equality of results, but equality of opportunity, okay? And economic justice for the whole country. Your wages are stagnating. You, the system has been rigged against you, but not by the powerless, but by the powerful. But the third reason uh, it's called Just Democrats is because we want representatives to represent just us. Not your donors, just us. So I love that the Congresswoman is joined here. I'm not alone. Uh, first uh, just sitting Just Democrat was Representative Ro Khanna. He came out with a statement today saying, Pramila Jayapal is one of the most visionary progressives in the House of Representatives. She has been the most effective freshman on the social and civil rights issues of our time. It is an absolute honor to have her as a Justice Democrat. Um, Congresswoman uh, Jayapal says about uh, joining the Just Democrats, I'm prou proud to stand with the Just Democrats and hundreds of thousands of their supports, uh, supporters who believe in a simple idea that Democrats can't just be an opposition party, we must be a proposition party. I love that quote, that's exactly right. It's not just a matter of resistance. These are our priorities and we are going to fight for them. Finally, she said, this election year is critical as we fight to take back the House by running progressive candidates in every corner of our country who believe in our vision. Exactly right. And uh, look, if you wanna find out more about the candidates, find out more about um, the platform that they're running on, Go to justicedemocrats.com, there are dozens of candidates now. And right now, a lot of them are winning. Brett Welder uh, is winning in Kansas, beating the incumbent Republican there according to the polls by seven points. Doug Applegate is winning. Uh, there are so many others that I've interviewed at Rebel headquarters. You can check out all those interviews at youtube.com slash tytpolitics. We'll have all the links down below. Uh, and 
I just want you guys to understand something. This movement is not about one person. It's about an idea that you could run uncorrupted candidates and they would be free to actually fight for you. And that's what's happening right now on the ground. And we've already got a caucus and we're gonna add a lot to it in 2018. But you gotta be part of that change. Because if you don't back these candidates, they're not taking corporate PAC money. They can't win without your support, whether you volunteer or you donate. Go look them up, see if there are any in your area. Go to justdemocrats.com and then get in the fight, get in the fight. So right now, I'm super happy that Congresswoman Jayapal is in the fight. She's a justice Democrat and now there are three and a lot more on the way. If you become a member of the Young Turks, you'll be saying, you know, I'm like a smart person. So do it right now, tytnetwork.com slash join, get the whole Young Turks show every day.